is that remember when we're graphing an inequality, a linear inequality, we want to make sure we're going to graph these just like we do a linear equation. So therefore, I can write this as y equals mx plus b. Because remember, this is what we started with when we had a linear equation. Um, one way we could graph when it was in y-intercept form, remember, we, we had b was our y-intercept and m was our slope. So therefore, this was very helpful for us because now we knew what the y-intercept and the slope were. So to graph it, you just want to get like the bare bones because the linear inequality is very similar to a linear equation. Well, your y-intercept is going to be exactly the same. So since my y-intercept is 8, remember the y-intercept is where the graph crosses on the y-axis. So I go up to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You're going to make a nice big dot. Okay, Justin? Then what we need to do is we need to find how, well, how do we find our next point? Well, remember we can use the slope to do that. Now the slope, remember, was a ratio, which was your change in your y coordinates over the change in your x coordinates. So between any two points on the line, the change between them um, horizontally and vertically is going to be represented by your slope. So here we just have one number. We just have a negative two. So we want to write it as a ratio between two numbers. So I can rewrite this as a negative 2 over 1. All right? Now I'm going to talk about something here in a second. A lot of students get mistaken when they say negative 2. And they think that's going to be negative 2 over negative 1. All right? What's negative 2 divided by negative 1? It's a positive, right? So make sure when you're converting to negative 2, make sure either one of your numerator or your denominator is negative. You can't have both of them be negative. Okay? So you have negative 2 is equal to negative 2 divided by 1 equals 2 over negative 1. So if my change in my y is negative 2, am I going to go up or down 2? Go down 2 units. So you go down 2 units. Then the change in my x values are positive 1. Am I going to go to the right one or to the left one? To the right. So you go over to the right one. Now, before you connect your points, we have a linear inequality, right? Now, usually a linear equation would just connect and we'd be done. But a linear inequality is a little bit different than a linear equation. For a linear inequality, we have to determine if it's a solid or a dashed line. Now, remember, open circles was when it was less than or greater than. Well, now we don't have open circles. Now we have dashed symbols. So is this in linear inequality dealing with a less than or a greater than? No. Is dealt with the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So remember, when we had those, we had what we called solid lines. Right? So whenever you see a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, we're going to have a solid line. So therefore, I can just fill this in like a regular graph. Down two to the right one. Okay? Now, lastly, um, a linear inequality doesn't always just say, hey, what, it works for one value, it can work for many values. So we need to look at this and say, all right, what other numbers will make our, make our inequality true? So our best point that we like to test zero, is zero, zero, zero. And the only time you don't choose zero, zero is when your line goes through it, which I'll give you an example of later today. So now I'm going to take zero, zero. And remember, zero, zero is an x and a y coordinate, right? So you plug zero in for x and zero in for y. Okay? Therefore, that gets 0. 0 is less than or equal to positive 8. Is that true or false? True, right? So where is 0, 0 on the graph? Well, 0, 0 is right here, and that's true. So since 0, 0 is true, what that's going to tell us is all points that are below this line are also going to be true. So to represent that, I'm going to draw these lines, and it's going to shade them out. So that's telling me that all the points below my line are going to be true. Can you shade it in? You can shade it in, but be careful if you're going to make sense. All right? So that's how you uh, graph your inequality.